Hey, how's it going guys? So as I'm sure you've already noticed, I'm actually recording this video using my regular cell phone and you can see me off of the reflection here of my, uh, on my Kinect camera. Now, the purpose of this video um, is to show that there are no fancy editing tricks going on, you know, that there's, it's just me playing my game how I normally would. I have Cronus Pro with XAIM running over here on the left hand side my auto spot script with anti-recoil and such that I use because when using mouse and keyboard with the, uh, the Cronus Max Plus you can actually use all of your favorite controller mods such as rapid fire anti-recoil look at that one-handed anyways um, you can use all your favorite um, controller mods to, uh, to make your gameplay a little bit easier or more enjoyable now one of the most requested videos that I get is um, to show that there is, you know, indeed no lag when using the mouse with the Cronus Max. Now, you have to go into your, um, your, your mouse settings and you set it up for whichever game you're using and then you set it up for which mouse you're using and you tune your DPI, the, um, the, the in-game dead zone, all that other good stuff. Oh, somebody's mad and killing me. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Anyways, we'll, we'll spawn back in in a minute. And uh, one of the most requested videos that, that I get is to hold the mouse in front of the monitor and then without anything fancy move the mouse you know move it really slightly to show the slight movements and move it quick to, to show how responsive it is um, how, how responsive the uh, the movements are rather so let me go ahead and spawn back in now uh, so once we get in here if you could see my hands down here I'm going to do a slight, small movement. And now a slight movement to the right. You sit there and very... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Well, as you can see, the, um, the, the mouse movements are, are very slow and precise. Uh, I, when, I mean, they're very precise whenever you're, you're using the, uh, the slow mouse movements, just as you want it to be. And, uh, okay, that's one of their guys. Sorry, I thought I was fixing to be uh, revived and, and spawned back in. That's why I like Battlefield 4. You had the little test server where you didn't have to worry about what was going on. So, and, uh, oh, I have this button right here on my mouse that I use to, uh, to go prone. So anyways, slight movements of the mouse give me slight movements in-game. And fast movements, indeed, give me faster movements. So let's see if I can get spawned back in and not die. So that I can actually um, demonstrate this for you guys. Alright. So, again, slight hand movements medium hand movements, fast hand movements. And as you can see over there, let me get this focused, on X-Aim, that little green bar right there on the uh, the left hand side, that shows how much movement I'm getting on the uh, the mouse. So actually, let me, um, using the Logitech software, if I click that button down there, I have it mapped to be both the, uh, the control and escape key. That way I can exit the uh, the capture mode a lot quicker. So what's what's cool about the Cronus is you also have this thing called the device monitor where you can essentially test what your controller is doing. So over here on the right hand side, that's what's being sent to the console. So as I move my mouse around, let's get that in focus. So there we go. As, my, as I move my mouse around, you can actually see what's going on. And uh, something that's really cool about this, if I go in and enable that. Go back into capture mode here. Whenever I move the mouse around, you can see how much mouse movement I actually get with both the, um, the horizontal and vertical axis. And that's what it looks like when you move your mouse around in a circle. And that's a figure eight. Looks pretty weird. But yeah, um, so again, mouse movement. Camera focused. Light hand movements, medium hand movements, 
fast hand movements. And then what's really cool, again, back to the, um, to the GPC scripting, check this out. So whenever I click the right trigger down, you notice how right there it says RT? Or actually here, check this out. That's what's cool about the, uh, the device monitor. Let me turn these off, and now we'll highlight the, uh, the right trigger here. So you see how whenever I pull the right trigger, you can see that it's enabled, and then where I kill it, and then pull it again. So I can hit this button on my mouse, oops, that button right there, and using my GPC script, since I have mouse button 5 as extra input, I've just enabled rapid fire. So, well, let's reload. So all I have to do is hold the mouse down, and then over there, that's what the game sees. So I mean, using the uh, the Cronus Max with the console is is, is super awesome. I mean, it, it's it's one of the the best gameplay experiences I've had because it eliminates the need for a super expensive PC or um, other crossover devices that that allow you to use mouse and keyboard. You know, they they cost over a hundred dollars. And you could pick up a Cronus for 60. Um, I mean, it, it's super easy to set up. Like here, actually, I'll unplug it real quick and show you just how easy it is. Okay, I'll do that. Let me close my device monitor. I actually in capture mode. I'm going to go ahead and leave Cronus Pro open because you need to open the software. And then over here where I have my console sitting, I actually have a second Cronus that I use to uh, support this one and prop it up. I have this Cronus. It's the one that I'm using. I have it connected to my PC so that it sends the mouse and keyboard through and that I'm, you know, so I can use um, XAIM and Cronus Pro with all my mods. And then I have this cable. It's connected to my Xbox One controller so that the console thinks I'm just using a regular Xbox One controller. So to get set up, like, okay, everything's unplugged. So imagine I have a second hand and I just plug the controller into the, uh, to the Cronus. So you plug that in. Check this out. Flashes AU for a minute. Bam! Now it's on zero. It's ready to be used. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Oh, look at that. Got it plugged in. And again, I just use that to kind of hold it up so that it's not pulling on the port. So now that it's plugged in, all I have to do is go over here, go into my plugins, open up XAIM. I'm already on my layout. You can sit there and choose. Um, you just right click and you can change what keyboard key you want to uh, to press the button. You can have a mouse key press it. Mouse movement. So if you want to move your mouse to the right and have it press B, um, you can do that. Um, if you want a keyboard key to also allow you to look left and right, you can go like where it says more. And then you can assign more than one button there. So like go there, assign a second key, and say I want to use this to look right also. I can press that. And now I have two things that let me look right. So in game, hit capture mode. Oh look, I'm hitting my keyboard key and now I'm looking right. But yeah, I mean this this, this device is, is so awesome. And you, you just saw me get everything set up in under a minute. So again, close that, it's closed out while well, we won and I didn't even do anything but like killed two people, maybe three people with one hand. Everything's over here. We'll unplug it. Unplugged. Controller's turned off. Oh, I dropped my little Cronus. There we go. Authorize. Ready to go. Come over here. Plug it in. Open Cronus Pro on the computer. Cronus Pro sees that it's plugged in. Go into the tools menu. Oh, I'm sorry, go into the plugins menu. Open up XAIM. XAIM's already there. If you want to see what's going on with your controller while you're playing, you can open up the device monitor, enter capture mode, and now everything's controlling the console instead. And then to exit capture mode, you just hold control and press escape. 
Oh, and you can use multiple devices at the same time. And you can even plug in a controller and like, use your controller in your left hand and your mouse over on your right hand and be doing some crazy Rambo shit if you want to. Um, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's so awesome. I, I can't, I can't express it enough. So, yeah. Um, I hope that this answers all of your questions um, that I get very frequently about how easy is it to connect everything? You know, is there any lag? Uh, how responsive is it? Um, how do you get it set up? I mean, it, it's, it's super easy. And it's, it's tons of fun. I mean, really, I, I think it's probably the, uh, one of the best things you can buy for your console, period, uh, next to rechargeable batteries for your controller. And, oh yeah, you can plug in Bluetooth adapters and other stuff and use, like, PlayStation 3 controllers on your, uh, on your Xbox wirelessly if you want to. It's not just for mouse and keyboard. So yeah, look it up. It's uh, www.coronismax.com. And if you head over to the uh, support forums and say hello if you want.